Hello everyone. I am Dr. Deepika Malik. Previously, we have discussed SDS page and agrogel electrophoresis. Today, we'll start with two-dimensional electrophoresis. Two-dimensional or 2D electrophoresis is a biochemical method for separating complex mixture of proteins into individual species. It is the only method that is capable of separating thousands of proteins simultaneously. This method is mainly employed for the separation and identification of proteins by displacement in two dimensions. The first dimension is isoelectric focusing and the second dimension is SDS page. Isoelectric focusing proteins are first separated by charge using isoelectric focusing. In sodium dodecyl sulfate polychromide gel electrophoresis proteins are then separated by using SDS page gel electrophoresis on the basis of their size the starburst pattern of protein spots is visualized on the final 2d slab gels by staining protein of interest may also be identified later by mass spectrometry now let us discuss the first dimension separation that is based on isoelectric focusing it is an electrophoretic method that separate protein according to their isoelectric points and is ideal for separation of amphoteric substances which are substances that has the ability to act either as an acid or a base isoelectric point is the point at which net charge on molecule is zero gel preparation the gels are used in this technique are agarose gel or polychromide gel Carrier ampullites are used to create pH gradients from highly acidic to highly basic pH in the gel in an electric field. Ampullites are complex mixtures of synthetic polyamino polycarboxylic acids which are mixed with riboflavin in the acrylamide solution. This mixture is then poured on a glass plate containing spacer. Above this a second glass plate is used to form a complete gel cassette. Photopolymerization takes place when the gel is placed under bright light. Polymerization is initiated by decomposition of riboflavin which gives free radicals. The gel is then removed and sample is loaded. The separation is achieved by applying a potential difference across a gel. Resolution in this technique depends on many factors like pH gradient, thickness of the gel, time of electrophoresis, applied voltage etc. On this gel the protein molecules are separated on the basis of their charge and even one charge variation gives separation of the molecules this strip of gel with bands separated on the basis of charge is then laid on sds page for separation on the basis of mass here in the diagram you can see proteins are migrating within the gel until they reach their isoelectric points where the charge on them is zero now the second dimension separation is based on SDS page. It is used to separate proteins according to their molecular weight. SDS page uses an anionic detergent SDS to denature proteins and the protein molecules become linearized. Due to this the charge to mass ratio of all the denatured proteins in the mixture becomes constant. On an average one SDS molecule binds to two amino acids. These protein molecules move in the gel towards the anode on the basis of their molecular weights. The gel system is formed of polyacrylamide. The polyacrylamide chains are cross-linked by N-N-methylene bisacrylamide monomers. Polymerization is initiated by ammonium persulfate which acts as a radical source and catalyzed by timid which acts as a free radical donor and acceptor. This gel electrophoresis system is a discontinuous gel system comprising of two gels that is stacking gel containing 3 to 5 percent of acrylamide and bisacrylamide in a buffer with pH 6.8 and separating gel with a concentration of 5 to 20 percent with pH of 8.8. Here it is important to note in the diagram that the strip of isoelectric focusing gel is placed above the separating gel of SDS page. So there is no need for wells as well as stacking gel. For more detail on SDS page, please visit the session 1 video of electrophoresis. Now after the electrophoresis run is complete, the next step is staining and visualization. Here the gel is stained to visualize the separated proteins. Common stains include Kumasi blue or silver staining. We have also discussed about the Kumasi brilliant blue staining in the session 1 of SDS page in detail. 
Silver staining is specially useful for visualizing proteins in the low nanogram to low microgram range, making it well suited for detecting proteins in complex samples. Steps for silver staining includes fixation. After electrophoresis, immerse the gel in a fixation solution typically containing acetic acid and methanol to fix and preserve the protein bands in their separated positions. Discard the fixative solution and rinse the gel with distilled water multiple times to remove excess fixative. Next step is sensitization. Immerse the fixed gel in a sensitization solution containing a silver salt. The sensitization step prepares the gel for silver and iron binding. Rinse the gel with distilled water multiple times to remove excess sensitization solution. Next step is silver staining. Place the gel in a silver staining solution containing a reducing agent and silver ions. The reducing agent reduces silver ions to silver atoms which then bind to proteins in the gel. Incubate the gel in the silver staining solution until a faint brown color develops. Next step is development. After an initial incubation in the silver staining solution, transfer the gel to a developing solution containing sodium carbonate and formaldehyde. Silver ions are further reduced in the presence of formaldehyde, leading to the formation of more distinct visible silver precipitates on the protein bands. Once the desired band intensity is achieved, transfer the gel to a rinsing solution to stop the staining process. The last step is destaining. If the background becomes too dark, destain the gel using a destaining solution, example acetic acid and methanol solution. This helps reduce the background staining while preserving the proteins. The silver stained protein bands will appear as dark bands against a light background. Protein identification that is integration of 2D electrophoresis and mass spectrometry. The stained protein bands can be excised from the gel for further analysis such as protein identification by mass spectrometry. Mass spectrometry is a powerful technique used for protein identification and characterization. After 2D electrophoresis, the separated protein spots on the gel can be excised and subjected to enzymatic digestion, usually with trypsin, to generate smaller peptides. The resulting peptides are then analyzed using mass spectrometry. The mass spectrometer identifies the mass to charge ratio of the peptide ions and fragments them to generate a mass spectrum. Software tools compare the acquired mass spectrum against protein databases to identify the proteins corresponding to pro peptide sequence. Additionally, mass spectrometry can offer insights into post-translational modifications, protein-protein interactions, and protein quantifications in a complex biological samples. Applications of 2D electrophoresis Protein profiling 2D electrophoresis allows for the comprehensive analysis of protein mixtures such as cell lysates or tissue extracts. It provides a high-resolution protein profile enabling the detection and comparison of protein expression levels between different samples. Biomarker discovery 2D electrophoresis is employed in biomarker discovery studies to identify proteins that can serve as indicators of specific diseases or physiological states. By comparing protein expression patterns between normal and disease samples, differentially expressed proteins can be identified associated with various biological processes, diseases or experimental conditions and potentially used as diagnostic or prognostic biomarkers. Protein modification analysis, 2D electrophoresis allows for the detection and characterization of post-translational modifications in proteins by incorporating specific staining or labeling techniques such as phosphorylation specific dyes or fluorescent tags. The modified forms of the proteins can be visualized and distinguished from their unmodified counterparts. This analysis provides insight into post-translational modification dynamics and their functional implications. Protein interaction studies, 2D electrophoresis can be used in combination with immunoblotting or, or mass spectrometry to study protein-protein interactions. By using specific antibodies or affinity tags, proteins of interest can be detected after separation by 2D electrophoresis. This approach enables the identification of interacting partners and the analysis of protein complexes or signaling pathways. 
protein isoform analysis 2d electrophoresis also allows for the separation and visualization of protein isoforms which are different forms of a protein generated by alternative splicing or other regulatory mechanisms by combining isoelectric focusing with sds page proteins can be resolved based on their isoelectric point and molecular weight facilitating the identification and analysis of protein isoforms comparative proteomics 2D electrophoresis is also widely used in comparative proteomic studies where protein expression patterns are compared across multiple samples. This approach is valuable for understanding cellular responses, identifying biomarkers and discovering proteins associated with specific conditions or treatment. So with this we end up discussing 2D electrophoresis. In the next session we will discuss immunoelectrophoresis. Thank you.